Hello everyone, and welcome to Q&A 19, I believe it is. Um, as always, I want you to post any and every question that pops into your head during this, right, right there, just to comment the question, it's easy as that. Or, not even a question necessarily, if you have a, you know, comment about this video, or a constructive criticism, I don't even care, just, uh, just say stuff. Anyway, um, I'm gonna start right in. Z White 10, what is your favorite kind of cube? Uh, probably the Pyraminx, closely followed by the Shang Xiao 8x8. A-C-C-U-B-E-R, Sam. Uh, how many siblings do you have, and can they all solve a Rubik's Cube? Um, I have five siblings, all younger, so six of us total, and uh, two of them can, I've taught, that actually were interested. I will... I will lose a vacation, says, did I just hear the wholesaler? If you mean audibly here, then no, you didn't. Uh, I K A K O J A V A X A says, "Is solving a Rubik's cube in 45 seconds good?" Um, that's better than I can do average. It's not my best is better than that, but average I don't quite do 45 seconds. So compared to me, it's good. Compared to like Felix, that's pretty horrible. It depends. It's it's relative. Uh, J-H-A-H-O-U-A Rubik says about my comment on your last video In the video you said you'd be getting 3x4x5 three by three by, three by by tomorrow Or the next day, and the next day was Sunday Therefore you could not have gotten them Oh, makes sense, they don't ship on Sunday Good point Me, myself, 183 When are you restocking all the cubes? It's been like two months, I'm waiting and I don't buy them Because shipping is expensive in my country Okay, anyway um, The restocking uh, it's seven different packages, actually, and they're all kind of at different places. I don't know what the guy was thinking when he shipped them. Anyway, some of them could come today, and we're guaranteed that the last of them will be here by Monday. So, you know, they could all come today, they could all come Monday, you don't, I don't know. But some, you know, Monday latest, I'll say, is when we'll be restocking officially. Rubik Master 206, have you ever thought of making a cube, and what would it be? I haven't, actually. That's more of Elijah's, um you know, forte, and, uh, so, you know, nope, I haven't, then he asks, is the core in the metal cube metal, um, the core in the metal cube, actually, you guys don't want to show you real quick, right, no, you don't, I'll show you, this is brown, here's the metal cube, as you can see, I hope you can see, I don't know if you can see. Eh, uh, well, I don't know. Okay. The pieces are lined inside with this rubber, so it's it's all metal throughout here, but there's a coating of rubber around each piece, kind of, or the centers, I mean, so to uh, improve, you know, it's just to lessen the friction. And then the core, externally on the core, um, the pieces are plastic, but there's metal screws in it. So the core is partially metal and partially plastic that answers your question. But yeah, you can see that the pieces have this lining on them. Of, uh, it feels like rubber, but it might just kind of be soft plastic. And uh, by the way, a, a few people have asked, it's not actually on this video, but a few people have asked if these come with stickers. And yeah, this is a DIY version, but when you ship, when we ship them to you, they'll, be, they'll have stickers with them, so you can sticker them. Like, they're not just, you know, like this. They have stickers with them. Okay. This comment has been flagged as spam. J A G A T O hacks, but I'll show it. Nope, never mind, I won't. Hide. Okay, author withheld, comment removed. I guess a few people were trolling. Bobman dude 9889 says first. No, you definitely weren't first. SK8 ing finger border. Do you buy cubes from Lightake and then sell them on your store, or do you buy directly from the fabricant? Something tells me he's foreign, or she, uh, Stahlfabrik. No, from the manufacturer, I, I'm assuming you meant. Uh, no, we don't buy from Lightake. Our prices are better than theirs already, and on most cubes, so that's kind of a dumb question. But, um, no, we buy from a wholesaler that has direct access to the factories. The Anonymous Wisdom, who is your favorite YouTuber, Cuber or non-Cuber? Non-Cuber, definitely Niga Higa. Uh, Cuber, <laughs> I think I said this last video, but uh, 
for actual like good reviews and stuff, Cubix for hilariousness, Exosha. I know it's 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 bad. Um, then he asks, when did you sol first solve a Rubik's cube and what got you hooked? Uh, I first solved a Rubik's cube when I was like eleven ish or maybe twelve. And uh, what got me hooked is when I finally memorized all the algorithms, and I was like, well, I can do it all by myself, and I just started, like, doing it a ton. Then he says, can you play an in instrument? If so, what is it? Also, do you play any sports? Again, which? Good question. Um, I play, now, this is all partially, I'm not, like, a genius in any of these instruments, but I can play pretty competently a piano, a guitar, a bass guitar, um, I'm trying to think what else different stringed instruments like that, I mean, they're all, you know, they're all pretty similar, and, uh, I actually, in the band I'm in, I'm the lead singer, oh, drums also, I can play drums, but in the band I'm in, I'm the lead singer, so, I can play my voice competently as well, um, and then, as far as sports, I love to ski, I love to snowboard, I love to lift weights, I don't know if any of those count, but that's pretty much it. Uh, then he asks, did you see the Hunger Games, did you like it, did you read the books, no, no, and no, didn't see it can't like it because I didn't see it, didn't read the books. And I've gotten mixed reviews from different people. I've heard it's kind of gratuitously violent. And uh, I'll probably read the books and then, you know, based on if I like the books, I'll watch the movie sometime, but I'm not in, I'm not in a hurry. A-W-A-P-O-N-T-E. When is the E3 Gear Cube going to be back in stock? Um, we're switching wholesalers. The new wholesaler doesn't carry the Gear Cube. But fortunately for you guys, we will ma be making infrequent orders from the other guy, the old guy. So, um, two weeks from now, I'd say we'll have the Gear Cube back. We hope so. Speed Cube 17, will you be stocking this Shang Xiao 7x7 seven seven SL? If so, when? Yeah, we will, and that's coming in on one of these packages between today and Monday. So, yes and yes, soon. Sons of Ding. What is your average? 3x3, 4x4, 5x5, 6x6, 7x7. 3x3 is around like 53 seconds. 4x4, four four, I don't know. 5x5, five five, I don't know. 6x6, six six, I don't know. 7x7, seven seven, I don't know. Um, I don't average myself on those. I, I sell more than I cube. The, the Magi Cuber, or the Magic Uber. <laughs> Are you ever going to stock the Rubik's 2x2x4 two two again? If so, why don't you remove it from, if not, why don't you remove it from, remove it from your website? Yeah, we are going to stock it, so the second part of your question is irrelevant. It's coming in on these packages. Three gray suns. How long do pre-orders take to arrive? Uh, usually it's a week to a month and a half, and it, you know, it all depends. Rubik's Pro-Able. Pro-Able. Could you stock the new Type-C for? Yes, we're going to. The Cube or Zero, do you have the Shang Xiao 7x7 in your store? Uh, we're going to very, very soon, like I said. Mr. Chunkeet, what is your opinion of the Shang Xiao 7x7 and will it make the V7 illegal in knockoff? Um, will it make the V7 illegal? No. Okay, my opinion of the Cube is I haven't even used one yet, but Shang Xiao products are always really high quality, so I'm just gonna guess it's gonna be really good quality. As far as will it make the V7 illegal in knockoff? No, I guarantee it won't. In fact, I bet you VCube will claim that that infringes on their uh, patents and copyrights and whatever, and maybe they'll make that a knockoff, the Shang Xia 7 by 7 <sighs> VCube ticks me off. But anyway, uh, it's not going to make the V7 illegal or a knockoff or, or anything like that. Then Angie C 17 says, Was I included in that girl best friend thing? Yes. Uh, and would you ever sign a t-shirt for a huge fan? Heck, I'd sign a t-shirt for just about anyone. I don't think, I've only signed like a few t-shirts at conventions and crap. So yes, I would sign a t-shirt. And, uh, do the cinnamon challenge. Love your biggest fan's heart. <laughs> I've seen the cinnamon challenge. That looks really, really painful. Um, if you guys begged or if, yeah, I mean, if I get, okay, I'll say if I get, like, ten comments about the Cinnamon Challenge on this video by different people, then I'll do it. But, uh, I don't really want to. It, look, it seems painful. Anyway, that sums up Q&A 19. <sighs> Thanks for watching. I managed to keep it under ten minutes. Um, as always, ask any questions you thought of during the video. Uh, if you liked the video style or disliked it or whatever, just let me know. You know, my detour to show you the metal cube, etc. Um, yeah, if you watched all the way to the end, comment and I'll give you a shout out. Uh, got like nine seconds left. So, yeah, thanks for watching and I hope you all have a nice day.